So what are you waiting for? Grab yourself a coin and let's get started on how to vanish this coin. Let's go. All right. So to begin this vanish, of course, you'll need a coin. And the coin that you'll use is basically a coin that fits snugly in your hand. My hands are pretty big, so I'm going to use a silver Morgan dollar right there. Make sure that it can fit right here in between the crease here of your fingers and this area here of the first knuckle, first knuckle of your middle finger. Something like that if that happens or you have a coin that fits that area you're good as gold let's begin to actually begin doing the vanish you have to emulate the natural movement of your hand in actually picking a coin from this position so example our audience are right there what we do pick the coin and hold it in the other hand pick the coin hold it in the other hand watch out for the details of the, your fingers or how they're positioned when you actually pick up a coin and hold it in the other hand by the way when it comes to this slide I am more of a left-handed person so I'm using my left hand but if you are right-handed all you have to do is just flip or reverse all my instructions right here okay so once you have managed to emulate the natural movement of your hand when you actually pick up a coin let's move on to the proper positioning of the coin in your dominant hand for ready for the vanish watch here we have our middle finger and our thumb place the coin somewhere in between the fleshy part here of the near the last knuckle just like that your thumb will naturally go on top just like that now the index and the ring finger will rest naturally around the coin or around the middle finger now this face of the coin will have to face the audience if our audience is right there face it towards them don't face it up don't face it side like that all right next now to actually do the vanish we're going to do the so-called french drop this is one of the most basic coin vanishes that anyone can do but it's very effective once with good practice and a lot of time has been placed on it example again the spectators are there in front of us to do the french drop your thumb lifts at least a millimeter as until it doesn't have any contact anymore with the coin and it drops into this position that you talked about earlier and then when it drops here near the crease of your fingers and the first knuckle like that your middle and your index in your ring finger will curl about 30 degrees and then when you turn your hand over the coin sticks it sticks with the flesh of your fingers and the crease so once again for the french drop the proper positioning right there around and when you want to do the french drop lift your thumb slightly as long as you come in contact it goes to this position right here if it's a little off no problem you can always wiggle you can always wiggle your thumbs your thumb or your or your middle and ring finger until it goes to a position curl 30 degrees turn over and it sticks there we go that's the french drop and the finger palm now what does the right hand do or your non-dominant hand do the job of the other hand is very important it's because this is the one that sells the action that you're actually picking up the coin so after mastering this one what you do is you try to find a choreography wherein this hand naturally picks up the coin so if it's there like that remember the movement that we've done earlier study that movement study the naturalness of that movement and then you emulate that without a coin like that And that is the choreography of this hand now let's put both of them together coin in the proper positioning right there your hand emulating the naturalness of the movement of picking a coin the thumb will go here into this sort of hole just like that and just before it actually grabs the coin your thumb your thumb of the dominant hand will lift just a millimeter just to come out of contact of the coin bam it lands and the fingers grasp nothing but because you practice the naturalness of how to grab a coin this will be consistent like that and then show you show nothing but you know that your fingers already know the natural position of your hands so that's how it looks right there okay then the choreography in in performance speed boom just like that again 
Boom. Now for miming the vanish. Let's move to this hand. To mime the vanish, you can either just wave it like that, sp like sprinkle dust, and it disappears, or slowly extend, boom, like that. As long as you have some sort of, let's say, one to three seconds delay after you pick up the coin, and then revealing that it has vanished, that is the most magical moment in this trick, all right? Don't underestimate that, don't, bang, bah, it's gone. No, that doesn't have, that's not how it works. What you have to do, be slow, one, two, and three, boom, disappears. Now, for the reproduction, of course, everything that you vanish has to re be reproduced. But how do you do that with the coin here in the finger palm and your hand uh, face down? This is how you do it. There are many ways to produce a coin. What I like to do, when my hand is face down like this, my thumb, except my hand is face down like this, my thumb will come in contact with the center of the coin. Example, my hand is upside down, center of the coin, and then I drag the coin forward with a cover of these four fingers out, just like that, okay? So, it's very simple, very easy, just dragging it forward. What I did in the trailer of the, or the intro of this video is that I did it sideways, but still maintain that same principle. Your thumb comes in contact with the coin, hands, uh, the fingers are, are, are shielding the coin, and then dragging the coin forward. It's a lot easier when it's upside down because the weight of the coin is coming in contact with the thumb. So when that happens, boom. It's easier to do it. That's how you reproduce the coin, right there. That's how it looks behind the shoulder. Watch, boom. One, two, and three, disappears. Watch, there's magic dust right here. Let me get some dust. And then, to produce it, boom, hand, uh, thumb, coin, boosh. And like that. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little short tutorial with regards to the French drop, the finger palm, and this entire vanish all together. Now, let me guys show you some advanced applications. I get my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be, be let down nitro to find Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's very simple, it's very easy, and there are different things that you can do with it. And I try to be as specific as I can when it comes to the details of the hands and different stuff, but I hope that was helpful to get the proper positioning, proper way of vanishing it, proper miming of it. It would be really good if you guys get some pointers from there. Well, of course, aside from that, as you can see, there's lots of advanced applications for this simple technique, a simple principle. And be free to actually apply this onto different magic, different props, or different things, or different routines. Teens. And that is how great magic is created or is formed here in the magic community.